Hey everybody, Duncan Cage fan here. It's been oh, quite some time since I've done a video of anything. The last video I uploaded was a video from when I went to the Mayhem Festival about three weeks ago. And I know I didn't do a review of that show, but all in all that was a fantastic show. But that's not what we're talking about. I'm going to be talking about a show I went to last night in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I went to see Winter Sun, Flesh God Apocalypse, Arsis, and Starkill. Now, I left, or I've been, I was up at like 7 o'clock that morning because of the thunder waking me up. And then around 11.30 I left my house and the entire drive down to Cambridge was, it was just drenched, torrential downpour most of the time. It was, it was raining the entire time I was driving down there. And then I got to the venue. I actually, um, the bands actually were stuck in traffic, so I actually got there before Winter Sun did. And uh, I hung out with some friends that were already there at the uh, venue. Later on, there's a, at the venue, there's also a cafe next door. And oddly enough, when I'm hanging out with my friends, I'm looking around in the cafe, and look who I see. I saw Yari Manpa and Kai Hato of Winter Sun. They're both in there. I met Tamu earlier when they got to the venue. He actually thought he was my friend. He actually thought that I was uh, my friend Devin, who had a guitar lesson with him, but we'll talk about something like that later. Um, we met Kai and Winter... We ca Kai and Yari in the cafe. They're really nice. Um, I actually bought beer for Winter Sun. Um, we'll get to that later. Um, we'll get to the actual show now. So, the first band that started was a band called Starkill. Sorry, my screen is going black, like, quickly. Um, Starkill was the first band, and just this was just like the Cannibal Corpse show I went to two months ago. No barricade, front row, up against the stage, none of that bullshit. Like, that's the same stuff as the Cannibal Corpse show. But I will tell you that it wasn't nearly as insane as that. Um, here it goes, um... Starkill really, really impressed me. Like, I've only heard, like, one song, and it was a music video. I don't know what the song was called, but it was awesome. And they put on a hell of a show. I will say that um, the vocalist and the guitar player kind of reminds me a little bit about of uh, Alexi Leho of Children of Bodom, um, as, like, performance-wise, mostly. But, uh, yeah. Um, and then, of course, next was uh, Arsis who I've been looking forward to seeing all year, because um, I love their new album, Unwelcome, and I'm a huge fan of the album, This uh, We Are the Nightmare. Um, they played an entirely blistering set. It was just ridiculous. Ridiculous song after ridiculous song. I couldn't get enough of these guys. I mean, James Malone, he fucking shreds live. It's nuts. Um, the drumming was ridiculous, as usual. Uh, guitar work, bass work, everything that Arsis did was near damn perfect. Um, those guys really fucking killed it. Um, after that, we had uh, the symphonic death metal band from Italy, Flesh God Apocalypse. Now, for this performance, um, they had this female that apparently sang on the songs on the records and whatever, and she's actually full uh, full on touring with them now. And, uh, there's a bunch of complaints I do have with Flesh God Apocalypse. Mostly it's because of the sound, how it was going throughout the show. I mean, I, I did, I could not hear the guitars that well, and I really, I could barely hear the vocals for, like, any of the members, which kind of sucks, but they played their songs well, I will say that. Um, the drums were extremely loud, which kind of sucks. I mean, I, I, being a drummer, I just want everything to be, like, evened out. Um, I will say, though, when the drummer did his uh, really fast blast beats, I could actually hear the snare drum really fucking well. Like, that was one of the loudest snares I've ever heard. Flesh God Apocalypse, in my opinion, was probably the weakest performance of the night, but they were I'm not saying they were bad at all. It's just like they were, they were my least favorite. I thought um, Starkill and Arsis were definitely better, but that's just my opinion. I believe, uh, yeah, they just, they're, they're a really good live band, but compared to what Arsis and Starkill did before them, was just better. And, of course, 
we get to the headliners, Winter Sun. Now, I missed them when they toured with Elevite back in December of last year. I had, well, I guess it's kind of bullshit reason, but I saw Kill Switch Engage in Portland, Maine the night before that show. I didn't feel like driving after being ridiculously sore. So, yeah, I'm, I'm, I, was kick, I was kicking myself for that. I kind of still am, but after last night seeing Winter Sun, it, was, it just made up for it. Um, yeah, let me tell you, dudes. After tonight, I mean, after last night, I pretty much think that Winter Sun is the greatest live band that I have ever witnessed yet. Um, they played flawlessly throughout the entire thing. I mean, they did their intro to the Time album. And they went into Sons of, Sons of Winter and Stars, which was awesome. Like, the crowd went absolutely fucking berserk as soon as that started. And then we were all screaming the lyrics and whatnot. Like, we were all... Everybody was screaming the fucking lyrics. Like, every song. Played that. Um, Land of Snow and Sorrow right after that. Um, Beautiful Death, which I love. It's one of my favorites off the debut. Um, they played some other stuff. Uh, they played. Oh, they basically played everything off Time One, which they have been doing a lot uh, since the album came out. Um, uh, and near the end of the set, after they played uh, Winter Madness, they <laughs> just for fun they decided to um, play the uh, this little one little bit of the song "Walk This Way" by Aerosmith, and it was fucking awesome. Honestly, it was way better than the original. Sorry, Steve. Steven Tyler, I, I thought Winter Sun did your song better. Um, but that's just because I'm not a big Aerosmith fan at all. But that's one of the songs from them I like, and I thought Winter Sun did a fantastic job, even though they were fooling around with it. And um, near the end of the set, um, they played a song off of Time 2, which has been they have been playing before, which is uh, The Way of the Fire, which is apparently, the, I think, the opening track off Time 2 when that comes out. Um, that was also a fucking killer thing, uh, killer song to see live. And then, of course, they closed with their, probably their most popular song, Star Child, which is probably my favorite song from them, period. And it was just nuts. Oh, man. I have to give that a solid 10 out of 10 performance for Winter Sun. It was awesome. Near the, in, in, the, in the middle of the, uh, the set, um, since I was right in front, I was right in front of Yari the entire night, and he, I, I held my hand out, and then he just like shook my hand, and then gave me his guitar pick. I was like, oh, actually, you know what? I'll get that right now. Where is it? Oh, right here. Let's see, right here. This was used by Yari, so that was awesome. Um, and then after that, I just hung out with a bunch of friends and. Because I was actually, uh, Kai, when I talked to Kai, he said I could have a beer, have uh, the beer with him that I bought, uh, which was the Angry Orchard Crisp Apple, which is amazing, by the way. Um, and the shitty thing is, when we did have the beer, asshole security at the Sinclair, by the way, if you're watching this, fuck you for taking my fucking beer. I know I can't drink on the street, but I bought that beer for one of my favorite fucking bands, so don't ruin my fucking moment. Anyway, we had that, we, I met the entire band um, for went from Winter Sun, and I went full out, and if you didn't, and you probably already noticed this, but bought this flag for 10 bucks, you can't really see it, but the whole band actually signed this flag right here, and I bought this shirt, it's kind of like the, uh, album cover for Time 1, and they also signed both CDs, Debut and Time 1, and then they also signed my blue vinyl that I bought a while back. And I also have the set list right here. So, if you guys are wondering what the set list is, this, this is the set list. I think they've been cutting songs out. They basically played every song except for uh, Battle Against Time, Sleeping Stars, and Sadness and Hate. Um, we hung out with Winter Sun quite a bit after the show. Um, I didn't end up. I ended up leaving the venue at like 2:30 uh, this morning, and I crashed at a friend's place. Um, I, me and a couple friends, talked to Yari for maybe 15 minutes. Um, I 
took pictures. I took a picture with him. I, I took a picture with everybody, actually. So they were some of the nicest fucking dudes I've ever met. I mean, it was really awesome. I, I think they probably would know me by now. <laughs> um, Kai definitely does, I think, because I told them, like, a week before the show that I would buy the band beer, and I did. I hope they liked it. I think he liked it, but, yeah, it was it was really cool getting to hang out with those guys. Um, shit, I, I don't know what else to say about this tour. I mean, if you guys, seriously, if this tour comes anywhere near you, I highly suggest that you fuckers go to that tour, because this is a tour you do not want to miss, especially with Winter Sun headlining. It's It's an insane show to see. Really. And I just found out this morning that um, that show that I went to last night was actually sold out. And uh, and before I go, I actually uh, saw um, Fulton from Fulton Re Fulton's reviews at the show last night. He was there. He showed up. He showed up right before Arsis played. We didn't really get a chance to hang out. He left like basically at the end of the set, which kind of bummed me out because I wanted to hang out with him. But we did see each other and all that good stuff, so, yeah, it was a fun time, um, definitely, it's probably the best live club show setting I think I've ever been to, um, definitely check this tour out if it comes near you, I highly suggest it, you do not want to miss this tour, trust me, alright, enough of my babbling, I'm gonna go right now, I'll see you guys later, thank you guys for subscribing, I'll see you all later, peace out, and keep it metal.